Hey guys, my name is Dan and I'm a veterinarian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're doing a live stream and how exciting is that? I'm going to be talking about eyeball scratches, which is basically, guys, a corneal ulcer. Corneal ulcers are when the cornea is damaged by some kind of trauma possibly, and that leads to squinting, ocular discharge, all kinds of stuff. Now, Today, I'm going to cover the three kind of corneal ulcers I see pretty darn regularly, which would be your superficial or uncomplicated, your indolent or unhealing, and then your really deep ones, which we may need to get some help by a specialist. But before we do that, let's go to our comment section really quickly, guys. So I've had a lot of these questions. My dog's eye is watery. He's squinting. I don't know what to do. Send help. Also, our dog is scratched by our cat, squinting, same kind of deal. And then another one, the French Bulldoggy has an irritated eyeball as well. Now, guys, the problem with these questions are or is, the deal is, it's like a Tesla driving by and me closing my eyes and telling you what what model of Tesla it is, because they all sound the same. Without looking at the dog's eye, I'm not going to know what kind of ulcer we're dealing with, so then we don't know how to approach it. So let's break this down. First off, when you walk in the veterinary hospital, remember, an ulcer is pretty darn simple, so let's just get it diagnosed. The first thing the veterinarian is going to do is a fluorescein stain. Let me show you really quickly. So when a doggy comes in, we may not notice much at first, but let me show you here, guys. As you can see on my left, we have just a little bit of uh, white or opacity. And then on the right, you have that yellow. So you may just see some cloudiness, but without the fluorescein stain, which is this like neon colored solution that the veterinarian puts in the eye. And what happens guys is when you have a corneal ulcer, the cornea has been damaged and the stroma below it is exposed. And the stroma just sucks up all that fluorescein stain. And once it sucks it all up, you have this right here. Boom. This is easy to diagnose. This one actually, you can actually see the little scratch running across and then the actual ulcer in the middle. So that's a good ulcer right there. So as I mentioned earlier, everyone's asked me, how do we fix these? And it's pretty simple with the first one, we'll say. So the first one is a simple, uncomplicated ulcer. Your dog, you let's say, goes to the groomer, maybe get some soap in its eye, starts rubbing its eye really hard. And you're like, oh man, what's going on? We're squinting. We went to the groomer yesterday. I stain it and I get something like this. Easy peasy. It's an ulcer. We have a little abrasion to the cornea. We're probably going to do an antibiotic eye drop. We may even do a lubricating um, eye drop. If we feel like we need to, we may even do a bit of atropine, but that's a side point. Okay. The, the deal is we need to be medicated with an antibiotic to keep the cornea healthy, keep it hydrated, and help it to heal. Now, that's number one easy. Remember, guys, eyes get better in a hurry and they get worse in a hurry. So make sure you do call your veterinarian and get in there quickly because once you start treating it, it's going to get better really darn fast. Number two, guys, is going to be our indolent ulcer or our unhealing ulcer. Let me show you right here. So let's say we do this. We got this ulcer and I treat it. And you know what? <laughs> in a week, it's, it's still there. And you're like, Dan, it's still there. So what I'm going to do then next is we're going to fix this. And a couple things. Now, I have an older video where I show this. Let me just add this in really quick. And, okay. Do, do, do. See this right here, guys? That little grid I made on the eye? We're going to play this. You see the little grid's moving a little bit. That's my good looking face again. I'm going to play this. The grid. That's number one. And the way we want to think about this is the, the ulcer, you know, it damaged the cornea, the outer part of the eye. And instead of growing across and healing, it's going up and away. So it's not, it's not healing. So what the veterinarian is going to do is they're going to make that grid and they're going to um, make the ulcer bigger, but they're going to remove all the tissue that doesn't want to heal. Now, the other option is this, I got this off YouTube, of course. Um, and this is another option. The veterinarian may use a burr, in this case, a diamond tip burr. Same kind of deal. They're wearing away the outside of the cornea around the trauma area, which allows for things to heal. So sometimes in life, you have to go backwards to go forwards. In this case, guys, either the veterinarian is going to do a grid or they're going to do a burr. And by removing the bad tissue, it can then heal. So number one, we had 
the uncomplicated ulcer. And in that case, we just treated it with antibiotics, eye lube. Number two, it's not healing. It's not going away. We may have to, we may have to do a burr or a grid. Now, I did have this comment the other day. And she is like, you failed to mention that not all vets can do this. Yeah, she's not wrong at all. So I love working on eyeballs and this is really fun. And we have a diamond tip at our pet hospital and we can also grit it. It's, it's great. Um, but some veterinarians don't want to do this because it is really delicate work and they don't feel comfortable with it. So if your vet doesn't feel comfortable with it, you may be going to an eye doctor for a, a veterinary eye doctor, a veterinary ophthalmologist. Yeah, they, they do have them. It's crazy. I remember before I got into vet school, I didn't even realize they had specialists. And as you're going through vet school, they're telling you, um, refer this, refer that. And I like, don't you actually have specialists outside of just going to your routine vet? Because I, mean, I grew up in a small town and we just took our dog to the local vet and he would do everything. Now, guys, if your vet hits a ceiling and they can't fix it, they send you to a specialist. So I practice in Nebraska and we have one specialist here in Nebraska that does eyes. If they can't see my doggy, I want to send off. I'll send like Iowa state or K state or what have you. So in that case, um, that, 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 that person's correct. You may have to go see a specialist. If your veterinarian does not feel comfortable doing a grid or a diamond tip burr to fix an unhealing endolip ulcer. Now, Experience number three is the really, really deep ulcer or the one with a desmetacil, which means that eyeball is going to pop and it's going to drain and you're going to lose that eye if you don't fix it. So my brother um, and his wife uh, have a, had a really sweet doggy and that doggy um, kept getting really, really deep ulcers. And I worked on it forever, but at the end I couldn't fix it. So it wouldn't saw an, an eye specialist and that specialist did um, a conjunctival graft and you you can do that and you can graft over uh the conjunctiva and it acts like a little bridge and it helps bring blood supply and healing and it helps the, it to, to heal and once it heals you trim the bridge away and then you have a really healthy eye you may have a lot of scar tissue there you may have a little blind uh, spot right there but you know what you save the eyeball so that's really really darn cool so eye specialists do have their place um for the uncomplicated you probably don't need them for the end of the, or on healing. Some vets will fix it. Others need help. And it's okay. And then number three would be the really deep ones. And I send these off to, I'm like, if you can go somewhere today, this is an eyeball emergency. If you want to keep that eye, you need to get going. Okay. So those are our three. And that is why guys, I can very rarely give advice. And I never give medical advice like because I'm a veterinarian myself, but regarding like if someone calls me on the phone or if I'm trying to help somebody out, um, a client or something regarding an eye, I literally tell everybody I have to see the eyeball before I tell you what I do need to do because every eye is different. And remember, they get bad in a hurry and they get good in a hurry. Eyeballs are very finicky like that. Hi right, guys. My name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. In the future, I will try to respond to um, the chat side of this. I'm not going to lie, guys. There was like a whole bunch of things going on in this stream, so it's hard for me to click through stuff and not have a lot of lag time. But if you liked it, please go ahead and share it and like it. I would greatly appreciate it. As you guys probably noticed, I've been gone for about a month. I was trying to get this all organized. A lot, a lot of other things going on in life, but... Um, all of you that watch my, my channel on a regular basis, I really appreciate it. And you guys are great. And thanks for supporting me in the channel. Um, it's been a labor of love. And um, yeah, yeah. But with that, you guys take care. And I will see you next time.